Richard. And you've brought me the results of the local peasant polls. Now, let's see what my subjects think of me. I'm afraid, Queen Margaret, your Majesty's pale, and yet at the same time, cherubic countenance will be decidedly unenthused by the perusal of this unedifying electoral missive. You know, sometimes, my Lord Melton, I don't understand the bloody word you say. Oh, bitch, madam. <laughs> then that's why I made you head of the civil service in the first place. A most celibate, worthy, and bumptiously fluffy appointment it was, madam. <laughs> you may not. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. Nobody likes me anymore. I like you, my little lambkin. <laughs> I know stupid people like me. I want clever people to like me too. Not melted. I'm holding you personally responsible for this. You're going to have to suffer for it. Oh, no, madam, please, no, madam. Yes, you know what you have to do. And in the meantime, send for Edmund Blackadder. <laughs> Your Serene Majesty, where my Lord Melchick was going, he seemed to me to have sullied his breeches in such fashion as to make a Hereford cow envious. <laughs> I've sent him off to die a most awful death. Ah, and would that be the regulation disembowelling or the more merciful hanging, drawing, quartering, liver to be ripped out by wild dogs death? <laughs> Much worse. I've made him a poll tax collector in Scotland. <laughs> it seems, my Lord Blackadder, that my subjects don't like me very much. Really, madam, your majesty does surprise me. I know it's incredible, but it's true. <laughs> so I want to know why they don't like me. Could it be, ma'am, that they find you isolated, remote, and totally out of touch with what they're thinking? That's ridiculous. I know everything they're thinking. What else are they thinking? <laughs> they think, your majesty, that you're about as popular as King Herod, at an under five's birthday party. <laughs> I want some ideas to make me more popular. And what about a few beheadings? That's always popular with the groundlings. <laughs> Since my lords Prior, Pym and Lawson got the chop, there aren't many left. Might I recommend that your majesty take a small holiday? But who'd look after my subjects while I was away, Blackadder? I couldn't possibly think of anyone, Your Majesty. I would, my little poppet peapod. I'd make sure they wash behind their ears, go to bed early, and I'd win them after they'd suckled heartily at my breast. <laughs> Perhaps they'd be at the end of the queue. <laughs> Don't be silly, nursey. I banned free milk yonks and yonks ago. Well, Your Majesty, what about someone like me? But I don't know anyone like you, except you. And you're wicked. Heartless, unfeeling, and quite, quite ruthless. You've got the job. <laughs> Let's get our frilly cosies ready. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs>